Blizzard workers share salaries in revolt over wage disparities. This post received a score of 28,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I worked there briefly and I can tell you the major problem is that so many people aspire to work at Blizzard and will do anything and put up with anything to be a part of their games that Blizzard really has no reason to pay people better. Disney is another perpetrator of this. They target people willing to take lower salaries for the chance to be close to the parks. When interviewing there for a job out of college I listed a pretty standard salary for my field only to be met with disdain from our. Thankfully I got another job offer for more than that number and my decision was easy. Yep, name literally any business, organization that we all romanticized as kids and look up to and it's guaranteed they don't pay enough. Zoos and aquariums are a big offender with this as well, because for every employee, there's often 10 volunteers, interns eager to do their job for free. It's really any passion industry. If management knows people want to do it, they know they can pay less because of that want. It's also rampant in the non-profit sector. Salaries should not be private. This tactic is how companies get away with paying you less. Isn't it funny how sharing salaries, a free and understandable exchange of relevant information amongst laborers, is considered an act of revolt? It's really sad when you say it out loud like that. Everyone is so greedy. The last lines of the article really hurt me. An employee and their partner stopped talking about having kids because they knew they wouldn't be able to afford it. A company paying the CEO $40 million a year won't pay their experienced full-time staff enough to have a family. What is this modern-day servitude? As someone who works for a F-100 company which is much bigger than Blizzard. I feel this in my core. Anyone else still boycotting Blizzard? Does it count as a boycott if you're just not interested in their product? I mean, maybe if they made an actual Warcraft game again I could boycott it. Yay, after the WC3 remaster fiasco my boycott has mutated into disinterest. I'll enjoy the memories but the blizzard of even a decade ago is gone. They're just another shitty game company with no more guarantee of quality than EA or Ubisoft. I don't mean this as a dramatic note, but Blizzard is a company that no longer exists. In actuality, the company called Blizzard that made the Warcraft and such games is extinct in fact. Activision bought the company, every senior leader is long gone and no corporate culture exists to retain their vision. At least with companies like Disney and Apple you see a corporate culture that wants to maintain the philosophy that made them successful. Activision Blizzard is a mutant. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.